My name is Lisa Noir. I'm 35 now. When I was 22, I was walking across the road to go to work um, and I got hit by a car. I spent six weeks in a coma and eight and a half months in the hospital. I was, I'm a toxic, which is known as the walk of a drunken person. I couldn't speak. I had to completely relearn how to speak. After a brain injury, you do get incredibly tired because everything is so much effort. Just day-to-day -day living is just exhausting. I... I used to be an artist, well, I am an artist. I've then had to train my left hand to draw. I now sculpt. So I, I'm able to incorporate my right hand in this into, gets into work. I found the art to be so incredibly therapeutic. It's my way of releasing my anxieties into something. When I look at my sculptures, I, I still I look at them and think, gosh, I did that. But that's such a good feeling. I actually did it. I think it's, it's so important that there's more awareness of injury and what happens to someone in the film which I imagine quite a few people know Kill Bill when the person woke up from the coma and she was moving her toes and doing things and after that she was doing Kung Fu I can't run I've been fighting this for 12 years and my god I've been fighting so I think it's so important that you, there's more awareness of, of what, what can actually happen in brain injury and how it does completely corrupt your life. Silver lining helps me because it, it means I guess out because being an artist is quite an insular thing to be doing but it's a good way to occasionally get out and actually it's very good that it's a way of meeting up with people that do have an understanding of injury. Not that I enjoy talking about it because I don't but we all know it and that's what's so good, good feeling really.